Shanghai officials organized a special fashion show at a local college yesterday to promote traditional Chinese clothing among the students. Our reporter Zhang Jun was there and brings us the story. All the dresses during the show are adapted from the Chi Pao, a traditional one-piece dress that was popular in early 20th century in Shanghai. While the organizer of the fashion hopes to promote traditional culture through the dress, some students say they aren't really fit for daily life. Chi Pao is very elegant, but its wearers must have a very good shape. Otherwise, they won't fit. That raises a big barrier to many females. I like traditional clothing, but it's inconvenient for me. For example, the city's metro and buses are so crowded that it's impossible for a commuter to wear a chipao every day to school or to work. An expert in traditional Chinese clothing says he was aware of the problems. But since the traditional costume is a very important part of the country's culture and history, and many Asian countries such as Japan, Korea, and India have their own national clothes, China should not fall behind. Apart from supporting more lectures and fashion shows on campus, he also encourages people to wear traditional clothing during the Spring Festival and other traditional festivals. He says Japan has taken steps to encourage people to wear kimonos. In Japan, quite a few museums and public places don't charge visitors who wear traditional Japanese clothing. That takes instant effect in Kyoto. We may also consider ways like that to stimulate locals to dress themselves traditionally. Gao says it will take a long time to promote traditional Chinese clothing to young people. However, as the city government continues to promote the country's culture on campus, the market for traditional Chinese clothing might gradually revitalize. Zhang Jun, Shanghai Life.